everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lost and Outer Survival, and welcome, as you guys can see, to a little bit of an interesting looking zone. This is the green zone that we have arrived at. Hello, Roman Zombies, how you guys doing? And this is where the going is probably about to get pretty fogly, because if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is where the witch lies. Look at it, look at it. We found the witch within a green zone. Oh my god, we got crawlers coming after us, but what is this? We got people coming through to help us. We got this man. Yo, this guy's got a freaking minigun. Let's go. Oh, let's go ahead. Let's mow down the witch over here. Yo, yo, yo. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, like, can you start shooting again? Because I think the witch is going to start running away at some point. I'm going to try to hit her with some slow-mo so she can't actually run away. That might be amazing. Hold on. Can we actually take it out? Look at this. Oh, slow-mo. You ain't going anywhere, Mrs. Witch. No, no, no. Look at this. Look at this. The man literally has Kevlar armor. No, don't run away. Well, it appears that the witch is kind of out of here, but no, Mr. Kevlar man, don't leave me. Look at this, the man literally is showing off Kevlar armor as we speak. No, don't go. Don't go, Mr. Kevlar man. Come back, baby. My heart. I can't take... Oh, my heart, it burns. That, ladies and gentlemen, was one of the new events added within the latest update. And as you guys can tell from that one lad over there... He did have Kevlar armor upon himself, meaning this event serving as a sneak peek into the titanium required crafting over here in the form of the Kevlar body armor. Better armor than the SWAT armor, and by the looks of it, that dude was trucking some hits from the witch, so that is some armor that I am definitely looking forward to, and hopefully you guys are as well. But here we got, I uh, just... Kind of like a little miniature version of the witch's infected forest, you know? It's really freaking cool. I love the fact that the Kevlar armor is actually in the game. We have it. We have someone wearing the Kevlar armor as we speak. We also have a dope raid lined up for today and a whole bunch of fun coming along. And to go along with it all, boom! We got a new look at the roadmap. This is the brand new roadmap released by Kofir earlier today detailing what to expect within the upcoming updates. And dude, before we dive into this, just again, I love the fact that the Kevlar armor was shown off and it just means that we're getting closer and closer to titanium and being able to somehow get that Kevlar armor because it's kind of serving as a teaser. It's literally within the game and all that type of jazz. But okay, enough about that. Let's dive into the roadmap and what this has to offer. So the top row is actually a row of updates that we have already gotten. We got the new event box redesign, quest for raiders, grenade and tactical backpack, etc, etc over in the upper left hand corner. We got the multiplayer update where you could actually have uh, the clan base which is kind of like the multiplayer camp that's technically the clan base we got some locations the zombies the bosses and a new weapon and clan boost and then update 1.11.8 was the seven days event update where by the sounds of it every single day we have a new event that we encountered today we encountered the witch and all that type of jazz and to go along with that we also got some new active skill mods we got the mannequin and we also got the wardrobe but after that this is all some newness that we are witnessing and Kafir did bring iterate during this guys this is a roadmap roadmaps are subject to change like they can still have updates in between these updates and these could potentially even come out of order but this is a rough roadmap of what they currently want to come to the game and the general order that it's looking like it will be coming in and it appears that the next update is actually going to be the groups update where within a multiplayer context we can actually team up we will be able to party up and tackle i don't know if it's going to be zones together but at the very least we're going to be able to tackle with a freaking boss together because that's been one of the biggest complaints and one of the biggest needs that they needed to have addressed that's so going to be a huge multiplayer improvement that we're going to be getting within this next update and further proof that this is the next update and that there will not be one before this is that Kafir actually did tease it a little bit earlier within the discord i believe there was like a puzzle you had to solve and it served as a sneak peek into what to expect out of the next update and it was actually that puzzle ended up being that exact image you guys are seeing there for the groups but after the groups that is where the go and gets a wee bit more interesting than expected what you guys are seeing is a new type of mercenaries event dude i don't know what the hell mercenaries could entail but it does appear that they have some sort of a camp set up within this event they have like a treasure chest kind of it's, it's looking like a nice little camp going on and we have a couple of enemies which will most would be their friends they're not even killing us yet i don't know because we do have obviously the guy in the military armor and a couple of the three other people over there that you guys are seeing with a sledgehammer m16 guy in the leather armor that type of jazz so how will a mercenaries event work because there's 
only so much info we're getting out of the screenshot, but the word mercenary should tell us quite a little bit because mercenaries are paid for hire. Mercenaries are a type of soldier that you gave them money and just this is just like within like the actual definition of a mercenary you like give them money you pay them it's not like you train them and build an army they're just like all that they're out there for is to make a little bit of the money and potentially in the case of last day on earth and the apocalypse potentially make themselves a little bit of loot so we might need to like somehow team up and maybe join up with these mercenaries and go on like quests dude i think this would be really freaking cool if we actually like team up with these guys and like we have to go out and do missions and in exchange we get loot for those missions and we kind of ourselves become a mercenary in this string of events and maybe we need to like interact with these guys improve our relationship kind of similar to raiders because a mercenaries faction could definitely be a little bit distinct from raiders or potentially this could just be the raiders that we are witnessing here and that this event is kind of just going to mean that the mercenaries or the raiders act in a mercenary type of fashion so potentially we might even be able to hire them ourselves to come along and help us like going on like missions like maybe we could hire them with some loot and then like when this mercenary event appears we go to it we bring some loot and depending on how much loot we bring or how much like we want to hire or pay these guys we can actually have them come along with us and kind of follow us like an ai like an npc and then if we go to the bunker if we go to some zones they'll come along with us and kind of serve as helpers those are kind of like the main things that i'm seeing where kind of either we ourselves become a mercenary and help these dudes out or we can literally pay them and they will be the ones helping us so that's the big thing around mercenaries that we can take away but from that we do have a single dungeon basement update coming after that which is going to be insane because a dungeon is kind of similar if you guys recall from grim soul survival where it's actually they have a dungeon within there that is actually randomly generated meaning that it appears last day on earth is gonna kind of have their first little dive into a randomly generated zone kind of similar to like a grim soul dungeon where the layout is different every single time that you go and dungeons tend to have pretty good loot especially at the end of the dungeon so this is going to be very cool to see especially because it is saying it is going to be a single player dungeon called basements plural so so potentially there's going to be multiple spots within the map that we could go to these basements or that these will kind of appear like a random event and like because you guys can see it looks like it's in the middle of like a ruined stone base or something like that and then there's just like a basement going downstairs into it so definitely some cool stuff to take away from that definitely looking forward to actually potentially having like a randomly generated dungeon we could head into acquire loot from all that type of jazz after that we have a secret update coming our way pretty self-explanatory it's secret we don't exactly know what it is if you guys have any ideas regarding what the secret update could be definitely let me know in that comment section down below i am more than happy to hear what y'all gotta say around that but uh, potentially it could be like the swamp slash atv update because that is nowhere on this roadmap that might just mean that it comes after the roadmap for example or that potentially might be bundled up with another update like the settlers update for example but whatever it is there's gonna be some sort of a secret update chime in let me know what you guys think regarding that we have co-op dungeons coming our way so similar to the single player dungeon with the basement there's gonna be some sort of co-op dungeon that we could go ahead and clear through potentially it will actually be similar to like being a randomly generated type of shindig and honestly by the looks of it it appears that it's gonna be some sort of like structure and it has like some red lights similar to the red lights we have actually seen when hard mode is activated in bunker alpha meaning that may very well be like bunker zulu which could be like the bunker of multiplayer that would make a good amount of sense since a bunker could definitely serve as a co-op type of dungeon and obviously it has to happen past sector 7 wall because it's going to be co-op it's going to be multiplayer you could literally see that they all have their scout armor on they have the mp5k they have uh what should we call the steel spear they got all these things pointing towards being multiplayer so it's gonna be very cool to be able to tackle these like kind of more more set areas like actual loot loot facilities not just like these wide open spaces like there currently is but actually be able to like loot these facilities and see what we can get out of it after that the settlers update can be expected you guys can already see in the back a couple of things to expect out of that there appears to be a completely repaired pickup truck which is going to be essential in this settlers update we're going to be able to repair the pickup truck back at our base and there's going to be a pickup truck available at wherever we set up our outpost as well which is kind of going to be how we move a lot of loot back and forth we've broken down the settlers update and what to expect out of that but the settlers are going to come along with the outpost the outpost is going to be a base we could establish kind of further away most likely is going to be established within the north because out 
outposts tend to be a little bit further out there. You know, you don't usually make an outpost close to base. You make it far to base. And the farthest location and most remote location currently is the northern zone. So that's kind of most likely where our outpost is going to be. But there's also the chance that the ATV slash swap update comes along with this. And we will be able to build another outpost with some settlers over in the ATV slash swamp as well. Which could serve as our kind of base of operations out of those further out locations and that outpost is going to involve us actually being able to repair an old army base of some sorts upgrade it and in some way shape or form actually recruit and get settlers to help us work the base potentially gain resources and do all these different things like defend the base that's gonna be super freaking cool to literally have like our own settlement going in this outpost slash settlers and after that we have pvp dungeons and new character upgrades coming to multiplayer locations so obviously pvp is on the roadmap that is where you will be able to tackle and kill those people who steal from your chests within the multiplayer zones i don't know if you'll be able to do pvp in any zone but at by the sounds of it there will at least be like pvp dungeons that you will be able to go to most likely they'll have very good loot and that is where you do need to watch out for other players as well and just by that picture it does appear that it's going to be similar to a party system where the group system that we went over a little bit earlier is likely going to come into play with this where you and a group can go into somewhere you guys will not be able to hurt each other but you will be able to hurt other people that's kind of how you manage to team up and then they do also mention some sort of a new character upgrade coming along as well so somehow we might be able to like level up our multiplayer characters and maybe like similar to the way in single player works where we get like a new skill or something or maybe we'll be able to like increase our health increase our damage somehow we will be able to actually upgrade our character and most likely progress in multiplayer zone in that fashion as well but that ladies and gentlemen is coverage of the brand new roadmap that has just been released and a holy moly fuck a moly this is a hype roadmap if i have ever seen one this has a lot of big things on it between some of the new events we could expect some new single player dungeons and obviously the feature that i want a absolute poop ton the outpost and being able to build our own base and get settlers for it 79719 is gonna be the code for today for the bunker just in case that code is out of date by the time you're trying to put it in make sure to check that comment section down below phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the sniper gang and if you don't see it down there you could be the fan freaking fantastic glad it lasts you to toss that sequence of numbers down there and help out anyone who might be in need and requiring that code as we speak but again man oh there's just so many dope things on that roadmap within pretty much the next six updates and also some sort of secret update but within the next six updates barring some stuff being inserted between those updates as well they are shaping up to be freaking nice and it does make sense as well i know some people are probably like where's the eight where's the swamp slash atv though straw and uh you know i i think that they want to bring the settler slash outpost update to the game first because the swamp slash atv will be kind of a little bit further out as a location like it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of like out west and whatnot and let's freaking go get ourselves some pistol drizzle and, and give me some of that stuff over there as well thank you very kindly and i'll also go ahead and put on the military armor so we could go and take down the one who happens to be blind within the depths of this place but it does make sense because i know some people are probably worried like the atv swamp isn't on there guys they've forgotten about it guys no they, they have not forgotten about the atv slash swamp personally what i think it is and feel free to chime in on this let me know what you guys think of that comment section down below by the way that comment is going to put your one a third of the way into wiggy 12 dollar i just touch place store a gift card giveaway all you got to do as well is make sure like button make sure subscribe that lets you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick random comment from that random video and that will be one for the week and we'll kick off your new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with that jazz but i do think that it makes sense that they do want to get the settler update out first obviously the settler update i think the two most massive updates out of like i mean ah, uh, i mean can, there's a lot of arguments that could be made that like a lot of those updates are pretty massive but honestly from looking at that roadmap i do believe the settler update is kind of like the big boy of it all because that's going to add in so many new mechanics potentially those mercenary that mercenary event in the single player dungeon basement as well those can end up being pretty big just depending on how they end up being implemented but we do know for sure that the outposts are going to be a huge overhaul 
compared to what we're used to seeing because they're just gonna it's gonna be a second base it is going to incorporate all of these like abilities to repair an old army base it's gonna add settlers that somehow might be able to like literally gather stuff for us and kind of serve as like our allies like we could kind of be like the king the ruler of this settlement of this outpost and they will kind of like bow down to us and kind of like do our bidding like go out and collect resources protect our base from attacks all that type of jazz which is going to be so many new systems incorporated that that's definitely looking to be huge and so is the atv slash swap update because we know that there's obviously a lot of big things we're coming along with that and ooh, piece of candy did anyone else drop anything by the way let me just go and double check but uh yeah i mean like the atv swamp update is going to be adding in pretty much the atv which is needed to access the swamp and then the swamp's going to be adding in pretty much an entirely new tier of stuff and new crafting recipes the kevlar boots most likely a lot of things because the ash plank will become acquirable from the swamps and most likely the kind of like winter zone kind of like how the winter zone is to the oak zone in the north the swamp zone would have a similar kind of like zone where we would collect titanium from most likely and okay let's go ahead and go over to some pistol drills so we got some shotgun rain ready to go by the way ladies and gentlemen for the one who happens to be blind no need to worry and then we have a super dope raid lined up in just a little bit as well but it does make sense that they do want the ATV swamp update to most likely come after the outpost update because from what we've seen the outpost update is likely going to take place in our expansion in the expanded northern zone and then we need to expand into the west for the swamp zone so i think that they want to just make sure that the outpost system is working all nice and strong and then they could also incorporate it within the swamp as well it just makes a lot of sense and that's that's the direction i see it going so i do believe the settlers update is coming first and i think the settlers update and outpost update that's the same thing uh the settler slash outpost update and the a to b swamp update are kind of like the two biggest updates that they're cooking up just due to the sheer scale of what they're gonna add so i do think that they want to prioritize the outpost first because then like if you incorporate outposts into the swamp that's just gonna make the swamp way freaking cooler because that could kind of serve as literally a second outpost slash third base counting our home base and outposts as bases so a lot of cool stuff speaking of cool things we gotta level up thank you very kindly for that let's max out our login skills and uh, i'll go ahead and actually use this pistol drizzle and then clean up the job over here with the spitters but that that's what i'm looking forward to out of that and just let me know what you guys think regarding any of these update notes how you think things are going to be implemented what you think that they're going to contain all that type of jazz what you think the freaking secret update's going to be there's just so much stuff to be excited over because this is the roadmap i've been waiting for oh me oh my it's just it's just it's just so much stuff that it has in man i need it in my life and even like the smaller stuff that they talked about like the dungeons like the freaking mercenary event they just sound so freaking cool in their own right and it's like oh i need it i need it now <laughs> i feel like spongebob when he was like dying of freaking water in uh what should we call sandy's dome or whatever in that one episode some of you guys might know what i'm talking about the rest of you probably think i'm crazy i, I probably am crazy but at least it kind of makes sense as to what i'm talking about maybe i don't know i got some shotgun rain though and i got one who happens to be blind who happens to need to die so let's put our powers together blind one and get you killed shall we okie dokie let's make it happen but as it's happening like i'm saying let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below seriously looking forward to your guys' thoughts around all this because this roadmap has some huge announcements that i mean we're like i like just freaking new events that have not even been teased we obviously got like a roadmap of when they expect some big stuff pvp the freaking single player dungeons dude that's gonna be so cool to have like another type of thing where we can go to it right and actually be able to like kind of have it be like a unique experience every time you know because that's why i feel like raids are so much fun because like you never know what to yeah. expect i mean you could research the base and kind of know what's coming but there's so much variety in raids yeah. especially once they actually get rid of a lot of the poopy bases because i do know that they want to improve upon the rating system as well but i mean raids they're just like they're constantly fresh you know like the odds of you getting the same raid it's not very likely it can happen it's happened to me before we're out here daily raiding but I mean, odds are that's not going to happen, and you're just going to get, like, all... I, I, I don't know, man. I love it. It's a, dope, it's a dope thing to work towards, especially once they refine it some more. And I think that the single-player dungeons are going to play a similar role. The mercenaries could be so freaking cool. Whatever that secret update is going to be all about, like, I... Ah, 
I want it all. Plus the stuff that they talked about for multiplayer too, between the ability to have groups within the next update, the ability to freaking do dungeons together as like a co-op group, most likely to get dope loot from that. Like, I feel like dungeons are going to be one of the big things. Let's freaking go. Thank you kindly. But I do feel like dungeons are going to be one of the big things that kind of make multiplayer a lot more like single player because... I mean, if you actually have a zone to go to, it can like kind of like the bunker alpha of multiplayer, so to speak. And there's a lot of stuff to get over there, potentially a ticket system, get some crates and just more multiplayer items on top of it and stuff to earn. Could be really freaking cool, yeah. especially if like more quests are added for those new types of locations as well. And then to go along with it all, of course, the, the grand finale, the PvP. It's just like, there's so much going on. I love it. Hopefully you guys do as well, and hopefully you guys are hyped because this is going to be a fun one. That's all that I could say. But let me know potentially which out of all these that we went over you guys are most excited for. Definitely looking forward to hearing that. Because as you guys can tell from me, I literally can't tell which one of these I'm most excited for and what's to come. But I, I got to admit, I'm very excited to see the mercenaries because if that's coming after the next update by the looks of it, that's like that's pretty close near in the future and that means we're probably gonna get it sometime soon and that means i get to see and get to the bottom of let's freaking go thank you for the floppy disc much appreciated but i get to get to the bottom of whatever it's talking about and whatever that like that's just gonna be chewing at my mind like what are we gonna be able to do with these mercenaries because there's like two main things i think that they'll be able to do like we went over a little bit earlier but i mean regardless of that there's just i I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry. But this roadmap just has me excited because a lot of the things are just like, oh, give it to me, baby. Give it to me, please. So let me know which one of these you guys are most excited for and how you think each one might end up playing out in that comment section down below. Definitely looking forward to the discussions you guys have with each other. And I'm going to try to chime in my best as well because I really want to hear about this because we've been pretty dead on with some of our discussions and predictions in the past as well from like you guys in that comment section. Like you guys' creativity and knack to like knock things out and be able to just get them smack a dab on the dot, bullseye, dart throw, or whatever it might be. Uh, it's just, it's kind of uncanny, man. So I'm really, I want to hear what y'all got to say around it. And I it's just, it's just going to be a dope discussion. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. We saw some Kevlar today. We got this massive freaking info coming our way. We got some really dope updates close in the future. We got some really dope updates medium in the future. And even far in the future, we got the freaking ATV slash swap boat post. Or, uh, what should we call ATV slash swamp to come and it could even be the secret update like what do you guys think that secret update is like ah there's just so much let me know what you guys think about it in that comment section down below again y'all know that you can enter into that giveaway as well tomorrow we're announcing the winner of that giveaway and kicking off a brand new one as well starting tomorrow so make sure you guys stay tuned that notification bell will be a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope travel games going up on the channel as well that you should definitely give a look if you have not already and let's not forget to mention either that that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information coming out such as the roadmap which dropped today and not just staying up to date with it as it comes out but seeing what that means for the future of the game breaking down this info as it comes out connecting the dots with information released in the past like honestly today like we were connecting for example obviously prime example actually the super hype for settler slash outpost update and kind of a lot of the information we've gotten within the past couple of months about that and what to expect and we're always doing that breaking down the info as good as we can to know what to expect within the next update of last day within the next couple of updates within the future all that type of jazz and of course as soon as any type of new update does come out we're checking it out in its fullest extent always showing off every single thing that has to offer just like we have today because we are continuing to check out those daily events that were added in with uh, uh whatchamacall with the latest update the daily events that we're adding just trying to make sure this is silenced okay don't care that that's not silenced that spread shot is worth it alone but uh yeah stay up to date with those new updates checking out all that they have to offer as soon as they do come out and just having a whole ton of fun with them we're checking out the daily events now we're going to be building up some of the new active skill mods that were built we're doing all the newness that this update brought we've done all the newness in the past and we will continue to do all the newness in the future as well but now it is time for us to do some raidness because you guys know me daily raiding is on the agenda why is that well because i'm a raider holic dude i'm a 
addicted. But this is a pretty fun thing to be addicted to. Not to my wallet at times, and not to my time use either, because it does involve us needing to knock out these quests. And if I'm running a little bit low on time at times, because again, guys, I like sometimes like I, I want to keep up with these daily raids as much as possible, but sometimes you know college gets in the way it becomes very difficult because oh it's like oh hello i have 50 assignments due today uh i cannot spend as much time on last day as i would want today but in that case listen that's not gonna stop me because you know that we're more than willing to drop some dollar dues i will happily make my wallet bleed if it means that i can bring a smile to yo guys's face in the most fan freaking fantastic fashion because i don't know man listen a little bit little dropping some money on the game i don't mind it if it means that we could continue our daily rating shenanigans showing off these bases what to expect good areas to break into how to go about these raids which ones are worth it which ones aren't and so far this raid is actually looking pretty nice because for the low low cost of one iron hatchet we have access to the entirety of all that it has to offer so let's get to breaking in and seeing what the chests themselves have to offer and hopefully they will have some good things. We do need to worry about some zombies coming our way here into just one moment. So, hello, how are you doing? Oh, mama, we got a lot of dudes on us. And we're just going to want to go ahead and cut these failures together into one gigantic blob. Because then we can go ahead and hit them with some shotgun rain. Okay, I don't think I hit all of them, but yo, look good enough. I actually did a really bad job with that shotgun rain. But let's go ahead and whoop, 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 whoop. Get out of here, Zoidberg style. And continue breaking down these dudes' faces with the help of our bullets. But yeah, I don't mind making a little bit of noise with the shotgun because it, dude, the shotgun spread, it's just perfect for taking out a giant wave of enemies. And this is literally the type of event, the raiding event, where waves of enemies come at us every certain amount of noise. And let's freaking go! We're getting some semi-decent things out of here. And honestly, for the low, low cost of, again, 0C4, whatever we get out of this raid is probably going to have me... Uh, it, it's gonna... We don't need as much from this raid to satisfy me. If we invest the C4 into a raid, my standards get higher. But honestly, like, this has stone walls, but the good thing is you don't need to break into the stone walls. That's actually the best part about yeah. this raid, so... And it's looking like the loot might be semi-decent. Okay, let's just try to get these yeah. fellers all bunched on up. And let's try to get them up. Shots going rain! Okay, good enough. We got rid of the massive wave. I know that we did not do all the damage possible to the bigger fellers. But that's more than fine in my book. And that's fine. That's dandy. Because we still got this pistol drizzle over here to help us take out the rest of these schmucks. Whenever they decide to come at us, bro. We just got one more flota blota over here. Which... Uh, our, our pistol is starting to run a little bit low, actually, so we might need to potentially find ourselves. Uh, mm, we got to find something, that's for sure. Because I'm just looking at things here. Uh, we definitely want to get to putting some of this stuff away. This is a revenge raid, so that's the good news. We don't need to share our loot that we get from here, since we're kind of trying to steal our own loot back. And then some. <laughs> but uh, what we do need to worry about is... Well, just hopefully getting some good loot. So that's kind of what we're focused on here. And no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Give me the goods, give me the goods. Ah. Ah, okay. Okie dokie. Not feeling super dope at the moment. But hopefully some of these chests will start to turn our luck around. Alrighty then. I can take some of these home. So it's not looking like this is going to be a lucrative base by any means. But it does look like it's pretty solid. Like we're getting some okay things out of here. We haven't been attacked by Jambies yet. So shouts out to that. Let's go and put this gas away and a couple of the other things that we have picked up. Since that time is about to be hither. Uh, yeah, I can put that away. I'll put... Uh, we can definitely put the gas away. And then I'll... I, we still got... We haven't really found anything super amazing. Like, we'll probably get some electronic circuits out of the phone. Not too worried about that. We also have... How much noise do we have? We're at 72. We could probably break three more chests before things start to get... Oh, hello! Was not expecting you people here so early. How's everybody doing? Alrighty then. Let's go and bunch all of these fellers up. And definitely let's get the toxic abominations included in today's bunching. Because, uh, yeah... We need to kind of conserve our one silenced weapon over here. Where's the last toxic? There you are. That dude's a little bit late to the party. Don't mind me playing some ring around the rosy. Let's go ahead and get him up in here and shotgun rain. I, I think that did a good amount over there. We might try and wait for shotgun rain over here to regenerate. We probably got to use it one more time. That will also break our shotgun, which will help us out a little bit. But yeah, I don't think we have enough pistol ammo to take out 
all of these fellas. So we got to kind of use the help of a shotgun rain to help ourselves out a little bit. There we go. One down. This fella should be able to go down over here. Nope. Come on, finish him. And float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. We take it out this abomination. The old-fashioned way. That ain't getting in the way of me. Pow, 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 pow. Pow. Oh my god, it takes a lot of punching. Woo! There's the butterfly doing the bee things. That's what I like to see. Now, let's go and see what we got within this. Okay, we got a little bit more gas. I'll take that. We got some, I mean, we got some okay things to take out of here. Just nothing like, you know, super knock out of the park or anything. And hello to you. Hi, fancy ya. Thank you very much for coming along for the ride. And we could probably get one more chest here until things start to uh, get a little bit cray. No, no, no. Why would you break? I don't need you to break that wall, kind sir. That wall is unnecessary, bro. Uh, over here. Yeah, we got some more meat. Honestly, I might just take the meat. I'm more than happy to bring a treat back home for our puppers. Give them a nice little uh, bonus meal for today. And then we just got to fill out the rest of our inventory. But the question is with what? So we still got two slots within our chopper we got to fill out. Honestly, if there's nothing better... It might be a decent idea to grab some of these tin cans because we can recycle those into aluminium back over at our recycler. So it's not the end of the world grabbing those. I will go ahead and chow down on some carrot stew, give ourselves some honga and whatnot. We do have two empty inventory slots. So I'll also go and actually grab our M16 that we recovered from this raid since you guys know me. The usual thing we tend to give these guys for our fair share of each raid is like part of an M16 a part of an AK and some aluminum just to make sure because like we've had it happen before where we have not gotten a revenge raid and after that happened then we just always play it a little bit safe and make sure to give them a, a decent little haul is it a lot yeah but I got a decent stockpile of M16s AKs and aluminum so even worse push comes to sub shove worst case worse we'll, we'll still be kind of decent uh but all right let's go and put away this is a valuables. Let's put away some gas. And, dude, we still got a good amount of slots over here. So, this is when the questions arise. Yes. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Ping. Uh, I don't know. Let's go and get three chops in on this. We want to go ahead and weaken these up as much as we can. So, they are each one chop away. So, now we will be using... Uh, I will just... Uh, <laughs> We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. I'll keep the two good hatchets with us. Because, again, just running a little... Like, ah, uh, dude. This space did not have as much stuff as I expected. I'm not going to lie. I think seeing the stone walls on the exterior got me excited. But, uh, I, I guess we could get a camera lens out of those. I'll pick those up. Another ATV. We'll never hurt no one. Uh, maybe... Oh, here's the thing. With, those, with that Mercenaries update coming out. Mercenaries like gold. Potentially these gold bars and whatnot might actually be a decent investment. They might finally have a use in the game. Because, like, the trader trades for them. So the mercenaries might want them as payment themselves. If you know what I'm saying? So I've been running a little bit low on wood lately. So I won't mind just taking a bunch of your hard work here, Sonny Jim Bob. And uh, grabbing all of these wooden things. And yeah, I'm pretty cool with that. Like, I'm more than happy to get rid of the wood if there's something better. And these last two chests were about to open. But... Other than that, I think we got a winning game plan here. And I got a lot of stone back at base, too. But just always wood that I'm running low on because I'm constantly rebuilding all of our exterior walls every time we get attacked. But as a wise man once said, YOLO, please don't be too close to me. Okay, we got some stuff over there. We got the toxic combinations coming for us. And we got, oh, baby, baby. Fa la 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 la. Don't let me die, bro. Wee! See you later, big one alligator. Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you for kicking me out because that last chest that we broke into did give us a chance at potentially a gun if we play our cards right. So, ooh, and an airdrop and a motorcycle event. We might try it. Ah, uh, we're running. Ah, uh, we have. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. We're going to run our way over. I'm going to run over here. Then we'll drive over to the airdrop. And I'll, I'll end up hitting up the chopper event afterwards as well. No need to worry, but no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Ah, Okay, we got a saw blade mace. Honestly, not too shabby, but there you guys have it. A pretty dope little haul we have acquired for ourselves. But with that said, with that done, that's actually going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Huh. So it's an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.